So yun guys, uh, saan tayo sa arithmetic uh, progression? So, <clears throat> for the arithmetic progression, uh, al lumalabas din sa sa board exam. So, sa board exam namin may lumabas na isang item. Uh, so, mas maganda rin na alam natin at saka uh, marunong tayo gum gumamit ng Caltech para sa uh, mga progression. May, actually, may apat, apat na progression, diba? Arithmetic progression, geometric progression, uh, harmonic progression, at saka yung isa, series, infinite series. So, <clears throat> for uh, arithmetic progression, Uh, di direct to the point na tayo, direct to the cal cal calculator technique, no? Hindi na tayo gagamit ng formula, although nilalay ko pa sa presentation. Um, ang progression ay... Uh, ang progression sa calculator ay uh, regression siya. So, mode 3, 2. So, After nyo mag uh, mode 3, 2, nasa <clears throat> may lalabas na table. X and Y. So, ang 3 mo ay yung stat. Ang 2 mo ay linear. Kasi naka-arithmetic ka. Naka-arithmetic ka. So, linear regression ang gagamitin mo dyan na which is yung A plus BX. So, let us try to solve the ano, problem number 1. Determine the 28th term of the arithmetic progression 1, 3, 5, 7. So, ang X natin sa CapTech ay yung uh, position niya sa term. eight nth term kung pang ilan siya and y is yung value of the term so 1357 ang position ng 1 is 1 diba ay tama ang position ng 1 so 1 then ang position ng 3 is 2 Actually, ang minimum lang sa Caltech para ma-process mo sa is 2 values. Pero okay lang naman na dagdagan mo pa. So, ang sunod ay 5. Pang-tatlong term siya. So, so, after that, uh, press AC. Nakastar na yon sa nakastar na yon sa stat data mo. After ng AC, shift 1 para mapuntahan mo yung uh, stop ng store mo. Tapos, 5, reg, ibig sabihin regression. And then, <clears throat> may lalabas dyan na 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Pura at saka 5 lang ang pagpipila natin dyan. Kung ang hanapin natin ay value of a term, ipipress natin ay 5. If ang hinahanap natin kung pang ilang term yung value na yon ay gagamitin natin yung 4. So, ngayon, for the problem number 1, ang hinahanap natin ay 20th term. So, value siya, no? Hindi siya kung pang ilang term. So, after mo mag-6.55, lalabas na y na may para payong. So, lalagay mo lang siya ng coefficient na kung pang ilang term ang hinahanap mo. So, for our part problem, 28 term ang hinahanap natin. So, the answer is 39. So, ganun lang yung uh, arithmetic uh, progression.
So, for number two, uh, for number two, ganyan-ganyan yung uh, lobo sa board exam namin. Uh, five, five naman yun, hindi logs. Ganyan, pero ganyan na ganyan yung problem. In a file of logs, each layer contains one more log than the layer above. And the top, and the top contains just one log. There are 105 logs in the file. How many layers are there? So, <clears throat> Ito pong problem na ito ay nakarithmetic uh, progression siya. Kasi kung i-visualize mo siya, one tap in the lag, tapos one, one more lag every layer. So, para siyang pinagpatong-patong na pipe. Ganyan. And so on. So, in total, in total, 105 lag na lags. So, ang tinatanong niya kung ilang patong. So, kung i-relate natin siya sa ating calculator technique, uh, again, mode 3 to, mode 3 to, store the data. Sabi niya, 1 at the top, 1. That is the first layer. And the second layer, 1 more than the top. So, 2, second term. So, parang ganyan lang. Sunod naman yan ay 3. Then, pang tatong term. Pang tatong term din siya. Then, press AC again. So, after yung master yan, so, hanapin natin ang summation niya. Ano? Uh, summation kumbaga uh, baksod ang solution natin alam natin yung summation niya is 105 summation niya is equals to 105 so isa summation natin siya ita trial and error natin hanggang mong lumabas yung 105 so sa Caltech para makapag summation ka store mo yan nastore mo na yung data AC ship Long. Now, shift long. Shift long. So, may lalabas na equation yan. Uh, summation equation. Then, basta ito yung equation na i- And then, yung for number 2, no? for number 2, uh, May ganitong lumabas sa production namin, ganyan, ganyan na mismo yung problem. No? So, in a pile of logs, each layer contains one more log than the layer above. In the top contains just one log. If there are 105 logs in the pile, how many layers are there? So, kung may visualize natin siya, parang ganun, uh, one log lang yung sa top, then plus one lagi, plus one. So, bali, bali 2, 3, and so on. So, meron daw 105 na total logs. So, to solve them, this, <coughs> punta tayo ulit sa mode 3, 2. Then, sa table, ganun pa rin, lagay natin, first, second, and third term, sa, 1, 2, 3. So, one, 1 lang ang common difference. So, 1, 2, 3 nito. 1, 2, and 3. So, and uh, press AC. Then, para mas summation siya, kagaya ng ginawa natin sa kanina, uh, you have to enter this uh, general equation. Bale ang nangyari dito, trial and error tayo. No? Trial and error. Lalagyan natin ang value to, tapos pag naglumabas ay 105. So, yun ang answer. Ano? So, start tayo sa uh, 12. 
say for example, say summation of x starts with 1 by 5, comma 1, then start tayo sa 13. So 13, ang lumabas ay 91. So, sa 13, ang lumabas ay 91. So, try natin sa 14. Try natin sa 14. So, exactly, ano, 105. So, the answer is 14 layers. So, yan. Uh, napakadali lang, ano, kasi calculator uh, technique tayo. So, magmubo na tayo sa uh, geometric uh, progression. Ayan, sa ano na tayo? Uh, geometric uh, progression. So, sa geometric progression, uh, calculator technique ulit, and uh, all the, of the process uh, is the same from uh, arithmetic progression except that uh, kung, ka, kung sa kung sa arithmetic progression ay mode 3, 2 this time ay sa geometric progression ay mode 3, 6 mode 3, 6 so start pa rin yan, tapos yung 6 ay yung uh, exponential yung geometric regression so, sample number one. So, the fourth term of the geometric progression is 216 and the uh, sixth term is 1,944. Find the eighth term. So, ganun pa rin. X, Y. So, first term, second term. I don't know. Ah, uh, binigay niya pala ay uh, fourth term. So, four or fourth term. So, si Vicky ba yun ito 216? And, ah, uh, ang anim na term, si Vicky ba yun ito 1,944. So, same uh, process. Uh, AC, then Chip 155. Chip 155 ulit. So, <clears throat> 216-1944. PC, then Chip 155. Then, ang hinanap niya ay pangwalong term. So, Lagyan natin ulit ng coefficient na 8. So, the answer is 3,600. Pang 8 third. So, yan for number 2. Um, determine x so that uh, x 2x plus 7 10x minus 7 will be a ge geometric progression. So, x 2x plus 7 then x minus 7 so as uh, as uh, we said earlier that the geometric progression should have a common ratio so meaning uh for example, 3, 9, 27, and 28. So, uh, 81. So, 81 divided by 27 is 3. 27 divided by 9 is 3. 9 divided by 3 is 3. So, in the same manner, dapat, uh, if you uh, let R is the common ratio, no? common ratio, 
ratio So, di dapat uh, 10x minus 7 divided by R must be 2x plus 7. Then, 2x plus 7 divided by R dapat x. So, 10x minus 7 divided by R is equals to 2x plus 7. Then, 2x plus 7 divided by R dapat x, so 2x plus 7 divided by r is equals to uh, x. So, substitute yung value bar here. So, magiging siyang uh, 10x minus 7 over yung 2x plus 7, no? 2x plus 7 over x equals 2x plus 7. So, <coughs> pag gaganito, para hindi naman matagal, ay i-sip calc na natin, no? Sip calc na natin yan to find the x. So, sip calc natin siya. 10x Minus 7 over 2x plus 7 over x equals to 2x plus 7. So, sip cut. So, the answer oh, is 7 x is equals to 7. So, that's, uh, that is our, uh, that is uh, geometric progression. So, we can now move on to the next, a harmonic progression. So, So, for the harmonic progression, so, bali, parang, ano lang siya, invert, uh, inverse of arithmetic progression. So, kumbaga, kung halimbawa ang arithmetic progression mo ay 3, 5, 7, ang harmonic niya na ay 1 third, 1p So Reciprocal lang ano? Reciprocal So Yan, yeah, solve natin yung problem number 1 For Problem number 1 Find the ninth term Harmonic progression 3, 2 3 halves So Ang gagawin natin dito Ikakaltek natin siya Using arithmetic progression no, using yung mode 3 to mode 3 to pa rin pero kailangan natin i-reciprocal yung mga numbers so ang numbers nyan lalabas 1 third 1 half and 2 third so yan ang arithmetic equivalent niya. So, i-input natin siya sa uh, mode 3, 2. So, the first term is 1 third, second term is 1 half, then the third term is 2 third. So, press A siya again, then um, shift 1, 5, 5, and put a coefficient of 9. So, then, 1 third, 1 half, then, 2 third. So, 1 pipe, see, 1 pipe, 5, then 9. 
So, the ninth term is the ninth term is equals to five third. Kung sa arithmetic progression, ano? Arithmetic progression. Pero, since naka harmonic progression na tayo, ibabalik natin to ulit sa i-reciprocal natin siya ulit. So, the final answer is 3 So, ganoon lang kasimple ang uh, harmonic progression. So, the last one for the progression uh, is the uh, infinite series. infinite infinite series so ang infinite series is it's the sum of the values in an infinite sequence of numbers so baka mapapatanong kayo mayroon bang sequence na uh, Um, halos lahat naman pa kung baga paano mo masasam ang lahat ng sequence kasi unlimited naman yan eh kung totoo so, pero ganito ang uh, illustration niya ano to para ma-visualize yung infinite series suppose there is a box then the first number in a series, for example, one half, then after the one half, hatin mo siya mag one fourth, then hatin mo ulit, one eighth, hatin mo siya ulit, one over sixteen, and so on, hanggang sa dumating ka sa pinakamaliit, then, si ibig sabihin, ang one half, ah, uh, One fourth, one eighth, one over sixteen. Ang summation niya ay equals to one. Kasi one lang naman to eh. So ganyan yung uh, illustration ng uh, infinite series. So, so tayo ng sample uh, problem. Yan. Find the sum of infinite sequence given below. So negative negative point five, zero point twenty five, point one two five, zero point zero six five. So, ang gagawin lang natin dito, contact na rin naman ito, ano? So, hindi na tayo niya magkakahira. So, kailangan mo lang gawin, hanapin mo yung common multiplier nila. Common multiplier. So, for example, ito, 0.5, ano bang multiply ko para maging positive 0.25? So, malamang, 0.5 din, no? Let's see kung true siya sa next uh, number. 0.25 times negative 0.5, negative 0.25. So, uh, true siya, true. So, ang true So, ang calculator technique ng uh, harmonic progression. Uh, summation. Uh, summation of din niya uh, yung common difference uh, yung common uh, common multiplier in this case di ba 0.5 negative 0.5 di ba negative 0.5 so negative 1/2 ah uh, raised to x so yan then ang lo lower limit mo is 1 then uh, upper limit mo is 
50. So, laki yan. Lalabas dyan ang summation of an infinite series. So, gagawin mo ito lagi ka naka, uh, naka mode 1 ka, no? Mode 1. So, yung computation mode lang. So, shift log. <coughs> Input the equation. Negative. One half. Raise to x. Then, uh, lower limit, zero, upper limit of 50. So, the summation is equal to, medyo matagal na mabas sa calculator. Yan, negative uh, one third. So, yan yung uh, summation niya. So, the, that is all for our uh, uh, series. Yung sa prog arithmetic progression, geometric progression, harmonic din yung infinite series.